I, Lise Muligo Gechuhi, humbly stand before you as the first black African-born senator in the history of Australia. I was born and raised in Kenya. Even though I was young, my mind allowed me to stretch and long the possibilities that the world offered. I may not have owned a pair of shoes yet, but while dreaming of my, of my future potential, I discovered that poverty came in many different forms, shapes, and sizes. Wearing shoes could mean that walking to school would be more comfortable. But soon I realized that true poverty was when a person is unable to freely choose their own destiny. I, Lisa Gechuhe, do swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Ed. The themes of humility, blessing, Define reliance, agreement, unity, and permanence are dear and close to my heart. So help me God. Every day after school, as one of ten children, I had to share in the daily tasks. This involved milking cows, going to the garden to pick vegetables, picking coffee bellies, and sometimes babysitting my younger siblings. We would help each other learn how to lead and light while preparing ourselves for competitive school exams. We would sit around a stone fireplace on the dirt floor of our house and cook dinner while reading. With no electricity, we relied on the light of a paraffin lantern to do our homework. Sometimes, when my parents could not afford to buy paraffin, we used the light from the fireplace to do our homework. From this, I learned character and strong work ethics, which would serve me well as a working mom of three young girls. It gave me a strong sense of sacrifice, respect, sharing, and the value of hard work. From my childhood, my parents and teachers nurtured and guided me to accept and value a disciplined way of life. I will never forget my late mother's advice. She said, always remember, as a woman, you are the backbone of your family and hence community. As a woman, the spiritual, emotional, mental, and financial destiny of your family depends on your womanly wisdom. 